I made a new YouTube channel called Young Camel Toe. All of my new music will be dropping there. Um, I, I've been having a lot of copyright issues with the videos I've been using and some sampling issues with some of my samples on this YouTube channel. So I will not be posting any more music on this YouTube channel from the rest of the year until I get the copyright issues fixed. So you can look in the link below and find my new YouTube channel with all my music, Young Camel Toe. It's about to be lit. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions on, you know, various social me uh, medias about, you know, who is Der Vitz, why does he do what he does, so on and so forth. So let me just get into who is Der Vitz. First of all, Der Vitz was created uh, when I was studying abroad in Germany. I was studying abroad, as I like to say. Um, I ran into like a hip hop group you know, in Hamburg, Germany, and uh, I was just rapping for fun. I had like a little rap battle app on my phone, and uh, I was always rapping co comedic jokes, you know, into my rap songs, and this guy named Kenny was just like, hey man, you funny, we gonna call you Der Witz, which actually stands for the joke in German, so Der Witz literally stands for the joke in German. Um, all of my rap music is, for the most part, freestyle. I use my phone notepad uh, about every day to just write down notes about different thoughts, different ideas, funny things that I come across, and I write it all in my notes section, and whenever I make a new song, I literally just go to my notepad and rap about random stuff that I wrote in my notes. So no, there's never really any vision, there's never really any rhyme or reason to the music I make. I do it because it's fun. I'm not trying to blow up, I'm not trying to become famous off of my raps. It's literally a meditation and just creativeness, you know what I mean? Because I feel like so many people just go on this earth and just, they're so serious about everything. And their vits is literally the opposite of that. There's no rhyme, no reason. Um, the slower songs that I uh, that come out by their vits are all freestyle, none of that is written. So the songs like Minecraft and I like to play with my Wii Wii was all off the dome. You can kind of tell us off the dome because some of the stuff I say is stupid. Um, a lot of the stuff Dervitz says is stupid. I don't even claim to be Dervitz. My name is Emmanuel Wright, but when I'm rapping and rhyming and doing dumb stuff, it's all Dervitz. Dervitz comes from a philosophy of nihilism. Um, I would like to say Dervitz is a happy nihilist. He doesn't really believe in a higher power, he doesn't really believe that, he doesn't believe in karma much, he kind of just does things when he wants to, not because he wants, you know, a reaction from anybody or some gain in wealth, but he just does it because he wants to. Davids is very spontaneous, uh, the messages in his music, um, they don't necessarily have a point, I think the point of Davids' music is more people always like to like to say what something is and the point of their vids is to make something in which people cannot say what it is and inevitably people are going to say what it is but it's not wrong and it's not right it's just kind of what it is there's always an airplane flying by my house whenever i'm trying to record that's cool the universe is really against me i really truly believe this anytime i'm trying to do something Whatever their moments, right? There's always some fucking airplane going by, or like a leaf blower when I was trying to do an audition this morning. It's bullshit. Well, yeah, let me just get back to what I was talking about. Ah, uh, Dervitz, yeah, so I make music for fun. My laptop actually is kind of broke right now, so I'm using my roommate's laptop. That's why my releases on music are kind of like edgy because. Whenever my roommate's out, I normally record on his laptop, but lately he's been taking his laptop with him for work, so I haven't really been able to record. Um, you never know what Dervitz is going to make, man. Uh, Dervitz, he, he, he doesn't really believe that there's such thing as right and wrong. He believes that different cultures have different, you know. I mean, yeah, killing and stealing is wrong, but when it comes to things like should one get married or is the family real or should you believe in a higher power, he, he thinks all of that is all created by humans for, you know, human sake. And I think Davids is almost on like a God level where he looks down and he says, I mean, that's all cute and stuff, the things that you guys take serious 
in your lives, but DeVitz is more of a, a bird's eye view. He, he kind of realizes that, you know, we're all here, we're part of the universe. Uh, none of us is really a key part in it, but no, none of us is not a key part. Like, we're all equal in value. And Nervis tries to basically exploit another airplane when I'm trying to give a fact. You see what I mean? There's no airport around here. Why would an airplane come through this part of town? It's, it's ridiculous. Um, I guess Dervitz is really just trying to... Trying to say things and do things and be things that most people don't get a chance to do. Not because they can't do it but because they're scared to. When people, when anytime I think to myself, uh, oh, I can't say that or I can't do that, that's when Der Vitz comes out and he's like, uh, no, we're gonna do this now because it's not just you saying I can't do this or I can't say this. That's what m the majority of people are saying. And I'm a true believer in whatever scares you or whatever gives you the little butterflies about doing, you should go do that. If you think you can get into trouble for something and not go to jail about it, try it out. You never know what's on the other side. I'm just rambling now, but I mean, that's what Dervitz really is. He's just a rambler. And you keep hearing me talking to third person because Dervitz is really only a person. Dervitz is a spirit, kind of like Lil B with the bass god. Dervitz only is activated when he's rapping or doing comedy. So when he's on a stage with a mic, that's their vids. Anytime he's just chilling on his pad, it's E-Man, really. I mean, my name's really E-Man. Um, my real name's Emmanuel, but when I was growing up, there was this kid named Matt Silva who lived across the block. We used to play hockey together, and when we was playing hockey, he, he didn't really, he couldn't say the syllables right for Emmanuel because he was like six. So he just started saying E-Man, and it kind of stuck. So most people know me as E-Man. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, man, Dervitz. Um, I'm not. Once again, uh, the purpose of Dervitz is not to gain subscribers or to become famous one day. It's literally just a meditation. When I'm rapping, when I'm in a booth freestyling, I feel better. It, my my mind opens up, and I feel more light on my feet. I feel a little bit more happy. I mean, as a person, I'm kind of happy. I'm kind of a happy dude. Um, I'm an introvert. Sometimes, most of the time, I'm an extrovert. It's kind of weird. I'm a Gemini, uh, whatever that means. I don't really believe in the whole horoscopes or whatever. I think it's bullshit, but most people say, yeah, you seem like a Gemini. Um, yeah, I'm so long for the ride, man. I believe that anything that, you know, should be questioned, I'm going to question it. I don't really believe in answers. I believe in more questions than type of questions. Um, yeah, uh, the philosophies, Albert Camus, I'm a stoic, a nihilist, uh, happy stoic, happy nihilist. Uh, I'm always looking for the next, you know, lit movement, lit party. I'm always partying, always sipping, always smoking. It's probably bad, but I don't feel like living that long. I, I, uh, I believe in living a, a life that's full of joy and abundance. As quick as possible. I'm not trying to say I'm suicidal, but I don't really see myself making it much past 65. So, yeah, fuck my liver and all that. Um, I play too many video games. That's the problem. I recently just saw Westworld, though, and I don't know the story of William and how he kind of just goes from. He literally plays this game for 35 years just to find nothing or just get shot at the end. And I kind of feel like that way about video games. I'm kind of. I'm really trying to stop playing video games. Although, and like after I finish this video, I'm gonna probably play 2K18. I'm a bit addicted. It's probably stop. Um, comedy, I do it just because I like to have freedom of speech. I like to be able to say what I want. I'm not that good yet at stand up comedy, but give me like two more years, man. I wanna be nice. She might see me on Comedy Central or something. When it comes to the acting, I just, I just, I just like how there's no rules to it. It's another thing about Davids. Davids is a, he's a, he's a spirit of no rules. He hates rules, man. If there's something to be, if there's a rule to be broken, best believe, Davids is gonna break that rule. I think my camera's about to lose some battery or lose some memory, so I'm gonna stop this video now. 
I think I'm going to do these videos like maybe, I don't know, once, twice a week, just to kind of check in. And, you know, if you guys have any questions, you know, go ahead in the comment section, like and subscribe. I guess that's what YouTubers say. And yeah, and check my channel out. I, I'm not good at marketing or promotions. I just, I'm just a dude trying to go through life, you know, not as quickly and fun as possible, but just. I, I hate the bull. I hate all the extra stuff. And yeah, sure, it's probably deterring me from becoming great. But I just want to live life and do what the fuck I want.